up, Homestead Homies? This is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. And I'm Stacy. And man, I think we got it figured out. We're like 99.999% sure that we have a female. So if you guys were trying to name that duck that we have, Duck Duck, um, start dropping off female names. Uh, it's a female. Some of them have been unisex names. Though. Some have been. We're going to count those too. But like I said, we're just going to take the top like three or four names, however many I can put on the survey. And then we're going to have a card on one of our videos. And then you guys are going to pick, uh, and we're going to just go with the most popular name. But we do uh, almost 199.9999% think it's a female. So Okay, so this is an Indian runner. We've also narrowed that down. Uh, we did some more research on it. Somebody left a comment in the very first um, unveiling, and they said they thought it was an Indian runner. So we started looking into it, and they're spot it on. It is an Indian runner. And Trent, uh, I'll link that video here, good friend of mine, our, our family friend for long time uh came up and brought us that duck and then he felt kind of bad well not really didn't feel kind of bad but he just wanted the duck to have company so he went ahead and ordered us these uh cute little babies that you saw at the beginning of the clip um They're so now we cute. have 16 of them and we won't be naming the other ones um there are going to be egg layers and also meat birds they're a straight run so we don't know if they're male or female but the one that we had at first the one you guys are going to name has a pardon for life and she'll live out her life here on the homestead. So what we're gonna do first is kind of give you guys an idea about what we're gonna do, because these birds are specifically um, for like in the garden. They use them in vineyards. Yeah, they use them in organic um, grape vineyards to, they just leave them in there because they're so wonderful. They eat mosquito larvae, they get snails and slugs and all those things like that. Um, weeds, they go in the weeds and they're wonderful little foragers. They're probably one of the top foragers. They say Actually, top foragers. Yeah. Um, the Buff Warpington and the Khaki Campbell is, comes from this actual bird. This bird is over 2,000 years old. It's an ancient back. bird, yeah. yeah, pretty cool. So it is, it's really cool. That's, uh, you know, it's neat that we got them. So we're gonna be building in our actual um, garden area as you guys watch these episodes and you see us progress and as time and money allow, we're going to get all that together in the garden and then we're going to build the house in there yeah, and then a place takers. to swim. They don't really, you know, remember the video we're throwing them, we're, we're putting them in, <laughs> we're taking them down to the pond and he's not liking the water, right? Well, they're not really, um, they're not really like pond ducks. They won't spend all day just swimming around. They like to just maybe get on the edges dip their beaks, a little and bit of like splash. they like to swim, but they don't yeah. have to have the water. They just need the water to help yeah. them eat, you know, do their food. So we'll put a water spot in the garden area, and then that'll be part of our um, food park, um, which will have a place for us to sit and hang out and watch the ducks. Now, how many eggs a year do these ducks lay? Like at 220 to 240, oh, they're oh, like the top oh. egg layers of all of them. Nice. Wonderful, wonderful eggs. You right. know, the big jumbo eggs, wider blue eggs, um, and they, I mean, they're known for their egg production. Yeah. So that's great if you guys want to sell eggs or get into duck eggs, this is a great breed. And the other thing that's so cool about them is they really don't waddle, they they run, that's what they call it, Indian the, in the runner. Yeah. They run and they kind of have like a herding mentality and they go together. And where they go, they kind of run and they sort of are like, um, you know, did you ever watch in the Olympics the synchronized swimming? It's yeah. sort of like, they're kind of like that. Or like the, the sheep form. or any kind of herding animal. Yeah, they're, they're they pretty, like to stay they're together. They're so funny. They're very amusing. So they're going to be caretakers of our garden here. Right. So that'll be good. And um, right now, actually, um, the one that we do have is totally like connected with Scout. She like stays by her side. She oh, likes hangs out with her all funny. day. Scout's like, get away from me. She's like, no, but I love you. So that's kind of what's going on with her right now. And then um, as these ones that you saw at the beginning of the video, get a little bigger and, and they then grow they'll all quick. be together. This yeah, they do grow quick. Apparently they grow quicker than a lot of other ducks. So yeah. they get big quick. So there's your um, hip to do on, um, you know, the Indian runner. Cool ducks. Oh, we're so excited. I love them. Yeah, they're really great. And uh, they, they have a lot of character too. That's a neat thing about them. They're not like the regular duck that might be kind of boring. These things have a lot of personality. Yeah, they look like a little penguin or a bowling pin with legs on them yeah. or looking like a wine bottle because they kind of stand totally erect and their little legs go underneath them like a unicycle. Yeah. They're so you guys stick with us on this one and uh, we'll show you from start to finish how we're going to put up their duck housing and their duck area. And we're going to show you how these little ones are growing and then start uh, narrowing down. Um, I guess on this video, we're gonna kind of start fresh and we're gonna go for girl names because we're like totally almost 100% sure that that's a female. All right, so this is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. I'm Stacy. Now you guys know about the Indian Runner. 
We're going to show you some clips of what's going on with her and the little ones again, and then we'll catch you guys on the next episode. See ya. And um, a couple things I want to tell you guys, here's some homestead tips if you're raising bees for the first time. Um, one is, 